and there shouldn't really be a sequel to it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're going to have to come up with a whole new story. story and Morning everybody. So right now I just drove down to our southern farm. I'll be hauling out some more corn. That's kind of what I've been doing all month really. Now I'm hauling to our local ethanol plant. Three loads a day. So it ends up kind of sucking up a good chunk of my day. Got the 165 just fired up. Almost didn't want to go there. The battery sounded a little weak but it did start. I'm gonna let that warm up for a second, grab some gas, top it off. I didn't fill it up all last week, so. Not the most fuel efficient tractor, but I like the gas motor because it does warm up a little bit faster than the auger and uh, just don't have to plug it in and it'll start right up usually. It was pretty cold out last night though, so had a little bit of a harder time. Well, this was the last can that we have down here, so gonna have to get the cans refilled by the end of the week for sure since we bought this farm down here four or five years ago these extra green bins we end up handling the green a lot more which is a good thing you know if the green bins are a good thing to have but spend a lot of time in the truck instead of taking it directly to town to sell it or store it you are taking it here and then you got to take it back out of here when you're ready to get rid of it Just under a thousand bushels per trip it's a uh, kind of a long process we just have this one truck and trailer right now for hauling but we have been talking how it would be nice to have an extra semi and trailer so me and dad could both drive and get this stuff out of here so one of us isn't tied up for weeks on end hauling grain out yeah, and here in michigan we can haul a lot bigger trailers than a lot of other states Right now, we don't have that big of a trailer. All right, well, I'm loaded up with load number one. I'm gonna hit the road and set the camera down.
I'm making pretty good time today. Hopefully I can get back home around lunch and uh, got a lot of shop work to do and also firewood to cut. So. Ballpark, it's taking me about 20 minutes to reload. Right now I'm not running the floor sweep or anything inside the bin. The bin's still pretty full, so it goes by pretty quick. But eventually it's gonna get empty enough to where I'm gonna have to run the floor sweep and that's gonna take a little bit of extra time. Okay, this is number two. It's a quarter to 10 o'clock now, so let's see if uh, how long we do for time. All right, so back at the green bins here, I'm gonna get load number three loaded up. It's 11.10 now, so not too bad on time. Still cold enough out to where the ground isn't defrosted yet and the driveway isn't all mud, but the sun is out. I'm starting to feel it a little bit. So I'll be happy to get this out of here while the ground is still a little bit frozen and the back roads aren't all muddy. see behind the shop there where it's already been sitting in the sun oh come on focus it's just a big mud mess back there already so pretty good still nice and dry up in the shade here got the last load loaded you can go get it dumped head back home and hopefully work in the shop for a little bit and uh like i said before we got some firewood and stuff to cut so it's been a few days but Dad got the foam insulation all glued in here. Turned out really nice. Let me zoom out a little bit. Put a new seat in, so that looks a lot better. And uh, pretty happy with it. The only thing we gotta do yet is uh, sew these corners up. And I did bring a sewing kit with me today. But before I just go in here with a thread and needle, I'll probably watch a little YouTube clip of how to do a stitch, make it actually look somewhat decent. So it doesn't look too bad. I can see this bottom piece giving us trouble eventually. It didn't stick in a couple spots down here, but overall it's pretty good. And right here by the toolbox, that'll probably be the first piece to wear out and come undone. Should make this thing a lot quieter now and also help keep in some of the heat. Even though it doesn't seem like we need it too much this winter, it's been a pretty mild one. I'm not complaining, that's all right. This is not gonna be fun. So I tried sewing up the liner in here and the 4030, and it just wasn't turning out. The thread kept breaking. The Thread was really cheap and chintzy, so didn't get this sewed together yet. But we'll think of something. I don't think we're just gonna leave it. So I wanted to point out is Dad found at Home Depot some of this foam. It's like sticky on one side, and he just we did all the door seals. I think he just did the doors. I don't think he had enough to do the windows, but. We'll probably go back and get some more eventually and do the windows. So this thing's starting to turn out pretty good. Well, it's been a few days now. I'm still hauling out corn. But I got the track challenger out. I got it all shined up nice now. Cabs all clean. Got a nice coat of wax on it. Eventually we do kind of want to paint the bigger wheels. Water sits in here and then it gets all rusty and it doesn't look too good. So we're talking about painting the tracks, but 
This is actually leaving. Take this out of here and actually put it on a low boy today. It's gonna get picked up probably within the hour here. We're gonna take it to our local dealer to get serviced. When we were doing our service, our regular maintenance to it, we noticed that the final drive here is leaking. It's getting oil all over the track, so that isn't too good. Me and Dad could probably do it, but we figured just send it in and have somebody do it twice as fast and knows what they're doing a little bit better and has probably done it multiple times. So we're uh, gonna get this loaded up, hopefully pretty quick here.